Hey, Mark. Mark Miller just uh, gave, from Cladera just gave a talk on on big data and Hadoop and solar. So, can you tell us what is Hadoop? Yeah. So Hadoop is basically a framework for doing distributed computing, um, which is basically like writing programs for a single computer, <coughs> but doing it in a way that works across many computers uh, very easily. Um, and basically across commodity hardware, cheap hardware, um, so that instead of writing uh, software for one computer that can only work on a little bit of data, you can write software that can easily run on many computers and process tons of data. Okay, you mentioned quite a bit tonight about solar, and can you tell me a little bit about S-O-L-R, spelled S-O-L-R? Right, so Apache Solar is a, a search engine that's built on top of Lucene, and its main use case is doing full text search uh, so that you can pull back uh, records based on the data that's in those records. And when you're dealing with a lot of data, which you tend to do when you have a lot of machines, which uh, when you're using Hadoop, you're usually working with a lot of machines, um, it's nice to be able to search that data and pinpoint what you're looking to find, kind of finding a needle in a haystack. And uh, that's where solar comes into play, especially when you need really fast response times, like sub-second. Okay. So... You also mentioned a new something new at the very end called Hue, H-U-E. Right, uh, Cloudera Hue. I can't remember how new it is. It's a Cloudera project. Um, I can't remember how recent it came out, but it's basically a UI that uh, works for a lot of the various projects in the Hadoop ecosystem, uh, you know, like um, Flume, and uh, it basically gives you an HDFS browser so you can see what's on your HDFS file system. And uh, there's now solar integration that basically lets you set up a UI for searching solar and seeing results. Um, and it, it's, it's basically like the UI for the Hadoop ecosystem. Okay. I, I love what it looked like and some of the possibilities that it looks like it has in there. So I'm going to be checking that out. Now, when I did a quick search on Hue, uh, a lot of other things came out. So is it a search on Cl Cladera and I would Hue? do Cladera Hue probably. Okay, or the first result okay. is probably its GitHub page. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so in order to get more information, um, we go to... Yeah, I would go to Cladera.com, like, uh -huh. especially if you want training. I actually, because I was kind of new to Hadoop when I joined, I was a search guy. I did uh, a week of training in New York City uh, through Cloudera, and uh, they do fantastic training, show you how to write MapReduce jobs all about uh, Hadoop um, and, and how it works and how to get going. Uh, it's, it's fantastic for getting up to speed. Now, you talked a lot about indexing tonight, but there are more. It, Hadoop does do more than just indexing, right? Right. So solar is what adds indexing to Hadoop, mm -hmm. and indexing is the process of, of working with text ahead of time so that makes it so when you search it, it's really fast. Hadoop traditionally has been about not doing uh, pre-processing, okay. but searching uh, at the time of the query, which is why usually it doesn't return sub-second responses. MapReduce is generally considered a, a batch process that can take you know anywhere from minutes to hours, uh, basically because it hasn't built any uh, look-ahead indexes, like an index in the back of a book. You know, mm -hmm. Hadoop uh, traditionally is more like scanning through every page, looking for what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and search is using like the index in the back of the book to just say, "Well, I'm looking for this, and this is the page that it's on." Um, and the trade-off is that you have to do this upfront work called indexing. Um, and so we're, we're kind of adding that capability to Hadoop on top of its traditional bulk force, look through every page of the book, but distribute those pages to many machines so that everyone can look at the same time. Okay, well, I'm really excited about all the opportunities that are happening. It was really fun to talk to you. It was part of the reason why I came to Boston is to hear this event. So thank you. I know you, you speak worldwide about this option, and you're coming for my Florida friends. You're coming to Miami pretty soon because you're getting married. And so we welcome you to South Florida, and there's a lot of uh, people that I can let in labs that I'm sure would welcome you to come and talk there if you're interested. So um, thank you very much. Cool. Thank you very much for coming.